Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the FreeNAS Mini Operating System on VirtualBox. There are two prerequisites that must be in place before you attempt to follow this video. The first is that you must have a downloaded and already installed Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. So as you can see, I have it already installed. The second step is that you must verify that you've downloaded the FreeNAS Mini Operating System ISO. And as you can see, I've downloaded the ISO and it's available here at my downloads directory. So those two prerequisites must be in place before you attempt to complete this video. I've shown in an earlier video how to download the FreeNAS ISO. Recall, in this video, we are going to create a new virtual machine into which we will be able to install the FreeNAS operating system. Note in this video, we are not going to actually install the FreeNAS operating system. We're going to focus on creating a virtual machine and configuring it such that we will be able to later install the FreeNAS operating system. So please ensure you've opened and are running the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. And then select New to create a new virtual machine. We are prompted for to choose the name and the version. So for a name, let us choose something appropriate, such as FreeNAS. And the type of, of operating system we should select as BSD, Berkeley Systems Unix. And the version should be FreeBSD 64-bit. And then select Next. We must now choose the amount of RAM in megabytes that we wish to allocate to the virtual machine. Now, be aware that FreeNAS requires a minimum of 8 gigabytes of RAM in order to run successfully. So let us do that. Let us assign 8 gigabytes of RAM. So I've now selected 8 gigabytes of RAM. And as it happens, as you can see, my computer holds 32 gigs of RAM. So we select Next. Now we're required to create a hard disk. So given that we're going to intend to install the free NAS operating system and to demo it completely within VirtualBox, we should create a virtual hard disk now. So select create. Select the option, check the option, create a virtual hard disk now, and then choose select create. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Next we're asked to choose the hard disk type. We shall go with the default selection, which is the VDI virtual disk, box, disk image. Choose next. Next we're asked to choose do we want a dynamically allocated disk or a fixed size? We shall choose a dynamically allocated disk because as a result of this option, a small disk will be initially allocated and it will only grow when it is necessarily used. So select next. And we're asked to choose the size of our virtual hard disk in megabytes. So the default option here is 16 on mine. So 16 is a good number. I'm going to leave it at 16 gigabytes and choose create. Now, this has created a default, if you like, template using the settings that we have given for a FreeNAS virtual machine. Note, we have not installed FreeNAS. We've simply created a, a virtual equivalent of a physical computer that is being configured such that it will be capable of a, uh, an installation of FreeNAS. The next step is to configure the FreeNAS virtual machine such that it will boot up from and using the FreeNAS ISO that we've already downloaded. Effectively, we have to insert a virtual CD into the virtual machine's CD-ROM. So to do that, we select, ensure that we've selected the virtual machine, and this is the only one I have here, so that's fine. Then select Settings. This will open up a dialog box. Then navigate to the storage option. And here we can see the CD-ROM is empty. So by selecting the plus symbol over the C circular icon, which is a CD-ROM and not the plus symbol over the square disk, which signifies a hard disk. So select the plus symbol over the CD-ROM. So we're now prompted with, you're about to add a new optical drive. That's exactly what we want. Select choose disk. And now navigate to where we downloaded the ISO file and select it. So I have the free NAS 11.0-u4.iso. Uh, so select that, 
and clicked open and click open and as you can see it has now effectively inserted this virtual CD in the form of an ISO into the virtual CD-ROM so click OK to save those settings now let us make one final change to our free NAS virtual machine let's again make sure the free NAS operating system virtual operating system is selected and then select settings and navigate to network now by default we have a network adapter it's enabled and it's attached to a NAT a network uh, address translation table we wish to change that to a bridge okay to a bridge adapter um, and then we select the Ethernet service adapter that is currently being used to access our LAN on our current physical machine okay in order to do that you may not know I have two options here how do I know which option is the correct option well let me show you um, select network options and uh, network status um, and change adapter connections and as you can see the local area network is the one that is active here and it specifies Ethernet service adapter I can double click and bring that down now in a moment and select properties and as you can see this is the adapter so this is how I know which actual adapter to select okay and so that's the correct setting there so attach to bridge adapter and select the appropriate Ethernet uh, card and choose OK and now we have our virtual machine configured such that we are now ready to begin the actual installation of FreeNAS into the virtual or onto the virtual machine. So that'll be displayed in an extra another video. Thank you.